I greet everyone today in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you watch my video on many are deceived, the Lord took me to the court meeting. A lot of things that the Lord granted me grace to see there. This I will say this is like part of the continuation of that a visit, but I'm going to bring it like a message. It's not like the it's not the many are deceived program. Uh, the session we always have like life this message really touched me i would like and i pray in the name of jesus that you give me audience and i pray in the name of jesus that this message meets you well that this message minister to your heart that this message the lord grant you eye opening understanding to get this message and run with it so that you'll be able to live in Christ and let Jesus take his place in your life continuously from today in Jesus' name. I pray with this message, the Lord give you knowledge to see what is happening around you and with discerning spirit, you'll be able to watch your step, you'll be able to return back to Christ, you'll be able to bring Christ back to your heart as the church of these last days in Jesus' name. Amen. This evangelist is catching favor, Nathan. In my last video, the Lord, in the video of many are deceived, the Lord took me to the to the kingdom of darkness. They were having a meeting, and in that video, I share with us many things that transpired there. You see, demon of divination. I saw it, the demon of Ica bought this uh, 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 abominable activities rejected. I saw them there. I saw the demon of like a sorcery, and it's so surprising that I saw preachers i thought are actually men of god that really shook me to my bone and the lord granted me grace to observe his presence they could not stand his presence just his light alone just the light of christ in their cult meeting there was chaos everywhere they could not stand and the lord also grant me grace the presence of god kind of came down after their leader gave them instructions what to do, how to fight the church, what they're supposed to carry out. And that is what this, this message is kind of continuing from because the Lord granted me grace. You know, I write my messages and the Lord kind of showed me this message segment by segment. It's, this message is to bring Jesus back in your heart and his altar as a church. That's the topic for this message. It's like for the church, Christians, children of God, please let Jesus come back into your heart. Let Jesus take his place in your heart. Enough of running around looking for miracle. Enough of running around looking for who will give you prophecy. Enough of running around being among the crowd. Enough of love for money. Enough of you exposing yourself for the enemy to take advantage of you. A lot of people are deceptively used, initiated, and used as human sacrifices for deities because people were going about looking for miracles, signs and wonders of deceptions and lies of the enemy. I'm telling you, there is no deliverance outside Christ. There is no freedom outside Christ. All that you see that they show so many things, wealth coming involved, people following money, expecting miracle, following witch doctors and all that. Brethren, there is no deliverance outside Christ. I also want to wake up some people that they have, they go to church and they go to witch doctors. Who do you serve? All you have to know is if it's not only Christ, you are kind of deceiving yourself. You will not serve God and mammon. You cannot serve two masters. And it's a shameful thing that the God of Mammon has taken the heart of people and they now follow people because of money. Everything about people, about money, about other deities, they ex exalt them, they glorify them, they worship them. Then where is Christ in you? I just want to give you this message that the Lord has given to me for us to know the plans of this cult group. All of them, are under the coven of Satan. All of them are under the guidance of Satan. Let's not deceive ourselves. This is the last days. All these things are going to happen. So this message takes about, I think it will go by 
about six to seven parts because the Lord kind of showed me step by step. It's like I took you there for you to listen to their discussion and this is their step, what they are carrying out. Now, brethren, please give me audience and listen to this message to the end. Each one, I'll be bringing this message part by part because that is how the Lord gave it to me. If I bring all of them together, it might be too long. The message, I might not be able to relate everything well. So the first one I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at today, I start with this. The cult group dressed in black in their hall, walking out of their conference hall. I asked, where are they going? The answer I got is that they are going to carry out the assignments given to them against the church. Remember, if you watch my video, uh, many are deceived when the Lord took me to the court. This is the second time the Lord brought me out. We were just like at the top and we were looking down. I saw them just dressed in, in their just black and black down. They were all going out. Some have other colors as well, but they're all darkish black and gray. Okay. They were going out. Then I asked, where are they going? They said they are going out to carry out the assignments. So this is where the lost and then took me segment by segment, step by step to see how they are carrying out the assignment. I'm going to read somewhere in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 12. I'm going to read verse 12 to 15. It says, but what I do, I will also continue to do that I may cut off the opportunity from those who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are in the things of which they boast for people that want to represent themselves as ministers of God. They want to copy and show themselves as the true ministers of God that we want to detach ourselves from them for we to see that these people, they are different. It's 13 said, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. 14 say, And no wonder, for Satan himself transformed himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. I want you to look at this today. I love that first part. The first part of this verse 12 of this 2 Corinthians 11. I love that really explain what I'm going, what we are experiencing today. But what I do, I will also continue to do, for example, as a preacher, that I may cut off the opportunity from those who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are. In the things of which they boast people boast we are ministers but we if you are led of the holy spirit you stand for the coming of our lord jesus christ you want souls to repent and give their life to christ you want souls to know the deceptions and lies of the enemy you want to do what cut off yourself from every wrong association Cut off yourself from every people that you know, everybody you know that are not serving the Lord in truth and in spirit. Cut off yourself from people that use other means to go to God, other means to present to people, other means for money, other doctrine that using other deities to operate and cover up as church. You want to detach yourself. That is what he's saying here. And because these people, they are what? For such are false apostles, deceitful workers transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder for Satan himself transformed himself into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness whose end will be destroyed will be according to their works remember the leader in that video i said he was giving them instruction what they are going to do and this is the mission they started it so the lord brought me out i saw them going out i asked where are they going they are going to carry out the mission they are assigned to carry out. Okay, now this first one I'm going to want us to discuss, I want to share with you is, the topic is to get them with food and enticement. They want to get people with food and enticement. We share food in churches, we give people that I need. It is very, very important. 
we have to be a brother's keeper. You cannot see somebody that is hungry and you let them go to bed hungry. If you are blessed, you are favored with finance and food, you want to help out in your community. It is very important. But there's something, deception, the enemy is using this to operate. That's why wherever you go for food, please you want to pray over your food. You want to pray that God should that the, that God should guide you and plead the blood of Jesus over everything given to you okay so this is an example i just want us to listen i was i saw two big bags full of packets edible items and i observed a hand that was sharing these food items so at this for this bag where they, they were sharing these food items boom the Lord brought me in. The light brought me in and I saw what was going on. Then as if I was taken out there in a church, it's, it's like a church building, a place of worship. The person giving the food item appeared in and was giving me, as I came in, was giving me a pack of the food item. I refused and shouted to stop initiating and entangling the people with the food. Then I saw some more forces came in as this group of people this group of forces they came in because they came in for a purpose they want to use food as initiation okay so some of these forces came in out in the battle because i realized what was going on i started praying against them i reject them i quickly started praying while in prayer the big bag that was filled with a lot of food they, they noticed that i knew what they were doing one of them came quickly zip up the bag and when he zip it up and and you know people that gathered to, to receive it the bag itself became more darker and the food the packets of food that they put in it became more darker and that was when i started praying and when i when it became darker and one of the person that was sharing because there were two big bags so that person that was sharing the food i was kind of focused on this creature and immediately he zipped up the bag and when when he noticed when he noticed that they, i know what they were doing and as i started praying the bag became so dark even the food items and it became so dark and he zipped up the bag and they ran out you know just it's like the bag just disappeared but i saw the rest of the forces in their group what they came to do and this thing went off my eyes brethren this is just a warning this is the fourth segment of what i saw so the book of proverbs 15 17 said it's better a small serving of vegetable with love than a fattened calf with hatred john 6 27 said do not work for food that spoils but for food that endures to eternal life which the son of man will give you for on him god the father has placed his seal of approval the food that people rush there's i know there are some families that don't have food to eat they don't mind to eat anything to survive but i pray in the name of jesus that the spirit of god lead and guide you where that the openness of the spirit of god will give food that will not bring you into initiation will not bring you into the court group that are initiating people and it, this message actually come out came after that video of it's almost a month but i have to make sure the lord guide me how to bring the message people are being initiated by money by food i will come to the part of money this is the first segment of the move of this cult group bringing food yes people are hungry but it is good that we give with love the food that we eat that is we, we neutral we nutrient the body is very important but not the food that come with the hatred of the against the church and they are using it to get people and get them initiated in the kingdom of darkness initiated to be controlled in a path that will stand against the truth bringing people into initiation afflicting them with sicknesses and diseases so i want to encourage everyone here that that whatever challenges you are going through in life the Lord will not leave his own the Lord will not leave you I encourage you to have faith so that the Lord will supply your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus so as this message is coming to you it's for you to look around you whatever that goes in your body whatever that goes in your mouth please let Jesus take control over that food and you pray over your food. I see this manifestation in various places.
Even after I saw this video, this I saw this, I got this message. I I was able to see a lot of people in real life how they gather people in the name of helping out, and this is a way gradually people are being initiated. So people might criticize this video, so people might condemn this video, but this is one of the mission of this court group in these last days, operating with the spirit of antichrist. What they are setting up against those that are in need. What they are setting up. You might not be in need. You might be somebody that you know you got opportunity opportunity to get some certain things please i pray in the name of jesus pray over this pray over this whatever that is given to you form of a charity and wherever it comes from you want to check who is bringing these items to these people what is the christian ground of these people what is what are the, what is the foundation of the purpose of why they are giving this is it for jesus to be glorified is it for souls to to know that Jesus is the one reaching out to them. Is it for souls to come back to Christ? Or is it for, for them to be glorified? Is it for them to be to be known and heard? There's something we want to check in here. If I come to you in the name of Christ, whatever I give to you, you want to check what am I giving to you? That's one thing we want to check. I also want to say again, People might criticize this video. People that are already God of serving God of mammon, God of money, so people that are serving human beings. There's a lot of people that are serving human beings. There are people that are, are in church and they are also in in which doctors shrine worshiping. You see, they are the ones that criticize every truth that comes for souls to be saved. They criticize, but as you are getting this message, I beg you in the name of Jesus, in these last days, what is happening? I pray that the Lord give you wisdom. I pray that the Lord give you knowledge, understanding, so that you will not get something that will initiate you, initiate your family. You will not fall, become the victim of human sacrifice in the name of using people to appease their deity in the court world, to, to stand against the gospel of Jesus Christ, to bring people into submission to other deities instead of people that say they want to serve God, but they are, they are deceptively gathered through food and initiated into other deities. This is one of the sections that I saw. I pray the Lord grant you grace in the name of Jesus that you wash out what comes in your home, what comes in your mouth, what you share in people around you. And what people are bringing to you, you want to look at where this food is coming from. You want to know, are they giving this food for hatred? That's the point. Are they giving this food for, to spoil my Christian life? That's John 6, 27. We said, do not work for food that spoils. Do not get yourself involved in something that will go into your body and destroy you. Do not get the spoils that will make you, you will not be able to function normally as the way the Lord wants you to function. And do not take something <clears throat> from somebody that you are not sure of the foundation of their Christian faith. From the foundation where they are, why they are sharing this food, the purpose why they are sharing the food, why are they bringing this free stuff? It might be food, it might be other things. That we, you will take in and take to your home and bring to your home that will create a problem. So this is one of the warnings of my visit, what I saw. So I pray the Lord give you insight in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch out for the next one, the next message to bring Jesus back to the church and bring Jesus back to your heart. Watch out to what, for the next message, my visit to the court kingdom, the mission they are carrying out. God bless you. This evangelist got you in favor, Nathan. I pray the Lord find you in peace. I pray the Spirit of God lead your heart to study the Word of God to show yourself approved. I pray the Holy Spirit guide you in these last days that you will not be you will not be deceptively misled into taking something that will bring spoil in your body. I pray you will not be deceptively moved by false preachers that come as cover of wolves in human skin to take something that, that is of hatred against the gospel of your faith. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not fall the victim to this group in Jesus' name. God bless you. This evangelist catch in favor, Nathan. Watch out for the next one, the message to the church to bring Jesus back in your heart and to the church in Jesus' name. Amen.